In this video, we're going to talk about the exercise you should never do fast. Now, if you watch to the end of this video, you will fully understand how to keep yourself safe and strong for the long term. Now, you might be wondering, uh, is it squats? Is it deadlifts? Is it push-ups? Should I never do these things fast? I don't really know. I'm worried. I'm going to tell you right up front. It's a trick question. There's not one specific exercise you should never do fast. In fact, there's a rule here that you need to learn to keep yourself safe and strong for the long. The rule is this. If you can't do something slow, don't do it fast okay this applies to you as an adult if you are a kid you shouldn't be watching this video anyway you can go watch peppa the pig and go check out the tomato garden the rest of us as adults when we are exercising we need to be thinking about whether we can control the motion before we do it fast so for example if you are trying to do a squat and you just suck at it and you have really poor mobility don't grab extra weights and go, I'm gonna do this faster. Oh yeah, oh, 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 and throw extra complexity into it. Don't go to a class and try to do a hundred of your crappy squats. You wanna make sure that you can control the squat, control the motion to whatever point you can get and then keep expanding that range of motion so that it feels safe and controlled. The problem is if you go and do it fast, just, uh, if I can just, 19, 20, your form sucks, you're gonna be practicing bad mechanics and then you're going to hurt yourself. This applies to all exercises. Whether you're talking about doing dips on a bench, if you can't do it well and you're just going into really crappy shoulder rounding and poor shoulder control, it's not gonna be good for you. Understand what you're trying to get out of the exercise. Some bones need to be moving, some bones need to be still. You need to make sure you understand which ones are supposed to be moving, which ones are supposed to be still. So for example, if you're doing a squat, you know that for the majority of the motion, the spine shouldn't really be bending and curving. You should know that before you start doing fast squats. So once you know that, you can control that, practice it, make sure you can get low into the position, maybe right way at the bottom, maybe you get a little bit of motion in the spine, and then back up. Now if you're good at that and when you're slow at it, then when you go fast at it, you'll be a little bit safer, maybe a lot bit safer. Okay, so now you might be asking, what about? loaded exercises. What about dynamic exercises? What about the bench press? What about cartwheels? What about whatever? So let's talk about that. Loaded exercises. If you're going to do something like, oh, I don't know, bench press or something, and you're like, okay, uh, uh, oof, oof, if I just do these faster, I'm gonna get a lot stronger. Look, you want to stay at a weight, a load, that you can get full range of motion at. And here's the part that's really upsetting for a lot of people. If you have a really light weight and your range sucks, then that means you're not ready for that weight. You actually need to do stuff to make sure that you have the range of motion that's necessary to do the exercise properly. So if that means no weight or even less weight than you think is humanly possible, then that's what it is. You gotta just drop it down and get used to getting the full range of motion. If you get the full range of motion at the lighter weight, you can start to build up and then you can work on increasing the speed once you actually feel like you have good control. Dynamic exercises. What about something like the cartwheel? Like, uh, how are you supposed to do that slow? That one is not easy to just start off doing slow. You have to get better at it before you can do it slow. I can't even do it that slow. But here's what you need to think about. There are component pieces. Are you even able to put your arms overhead? Can you even hold a little bit of weight over your head without your shoulders getting super tired or just feeling like there's pinching? If you're somebody who goes like this, you shouldn't be doing a cartwheel because your shoulder mobility sucks. If you're coming out like this and you can't really get this without pinching pain, you shouldn't be doing a cartwheel. You shouldn't be doing a fast dynamic exercise like that.
If you want better sleep, the simplest thing you can do is get yourself a real clock for your bedroom and leave your phone, tablet, and computer out of the bedroom and away from the side of your bed. Don't use devices for at least an hour before bed. That will let your brain calm down and let you get a deeper, fuller night's sleep. Uh, to recap, if you can't do it slow, then don't do it fast. Make sure you have full range of motion and that you understand what needs to be moving and what needs to be still. All right, so for a free program to help you start building your pain-free body, head to uprighthealth.com, subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, share this video with someone you know who's trying to hurt themselves in the gym. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks life, shouldn't it?